Hi guys, Guy Christian 9 here with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal! In the last episode, I caught my first two new Pokemon, and I decided to go back out here in Route 30 to start, because I went ahead and caught some ahem, extra Pokemon over the course of my um, training here, and you can show some of them off. Spinarak, which you can only find at night. Poliwag, which you can find at night in this route, which is new for me. And of course, you've seen Hoot Hoot. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I did get a Matata, too, so... Yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, this way is now clear, but this guy's gonna head and challenge us. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokémon. Wait, you look weak! Come on, let's battle! And so we get into our first Pokémon Trainer battle outside of the rival. It is the infamous Youngster Joey! <laughs> and, of course, there's one Pokémon... Rattata. Rattata. Alright, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my own Rattata because I'm so cool and mine's in the top of so much. So this is gonna be pretty much a straight up tackle fest, I suppose. Rattata's not really one for defense, I suppose. Uh, it, I believe it does have a bit of a higher attack, but its defense isn't really that well suited. You can see, I mean, it's like you're losing 5 HP per. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Return there. And there we go, the level advantage once again pays off. Aw, oh, didn't level up. Alright, so the youngster Joey was defeated. Ah, I lost again! Doggone it. And we got some money and immediately send it to mom. So that's what the whole thing starts out. Basically, whenever you win a tr Pokemon Trainer battle, you send all of the profits to your mom. But let's talk to him again. Do I have to have more Pokemon in order to battle better? No, I'm sucking with this one no matter what. Listen, can I get your phone number? Oh god, it starts. I'll ring you for some battles. Uh, so yeah, this is a new mechanic that you can get in this game. Essentially, you can, um, I'm probably gonna regret this later, but you can actually register specific trainers in this game. Some of them will want various things. Uh, some will call you to battle you, some will call you about berries, and if you're wondering... So yeah, it's gonna be, like, right there. It's gonna show, like, the name and then what type of trainer they were. And so, yeah, they call you occasionally, so... I don't know if I just open Pandora's box or anything, but... <laughs> Here, let's put Poliwag out. Poliwag, oddly enough, has the highest speed out of all my Pokémon. Oh, yeah, this guy. You're a Pokémon trainer, right? Then you have to battle! Alright, so right away we get to fight the guy that Joey lost to. Another youngster who is Mikey. He sends out a uh, Pidgey! Oh man, badass here. At level 2. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a very long battle. So yeah, Poliwags is definitely a new thing that I've encountered. In, in Gold and Silver, you can't find Poliwags in this route, I believe. But um, apparently in Crystal at nighttime, you can. And that's kind of cool, because it gives you a very early Water-type Pokémon. And it does have its advantages, I have to say. Alright, so he's gonna send out this other Pokemon, a Rattata. Let's see... Uh, no, I think Poliwag is fine. And it's a level 4, so it's exactly the same Pokemon as Joey, so I pretty much figured the only reason he lost was because he only had that one Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I feel a burp coming on, nah. I mean, <laughs> you just can't talk when you have one of those coming up. And he's wasting his turns with Tail Whip, alright. Whoever lets me get a free attack in. Damn it, didn't hit it. Oh wow, he can't, it wasted its entire Pokémon on Tail Whip! God, this is a misty battle all over again. Alright, it's dead. Hollywood should level up, yep. Oh wow, that went really far, huh. Alright, anyways, Mikey was defeated. That's strange, I won before. And we get the same amount of money from him, so that's kind of pathetic. Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to battle other people to get better. And so yeah, you can see not all trainers give you their phone numbers, only the certain ones, and you always have to beat them afterwards. It's kind of a nice little mechanic though, kind of gets you a little bit more involved with the world and stuff. Let's go ahead and move Hoot Hoot out on front. I'm trying to keep my Pokémon fresh. Alright. Oh, look, here's a girl. I'm not a trainer. But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not even gonna have to look at anyone because I'm looking at this thing, whatever. Oh, it's a spin rack. This uh, spin rack is essentially the gold and silver weedle. I have to say that. It's no poison sting. It's fucking poison. I don't know. I think it's fucking poison, anyways. And it's trap trainer. Is that a book? Look when I found a trainer. And if you couldn't guess already, this game is gonna start out exactly the way that the original Pokemon started with youngsters and bug catchers. This was being Dawn. And he's gonna start out with a Caterpie, which we can find in this route, but this I don't believe you can find it during the nighttime, or if you can, they're very rare. But yeah, Caterpie we've seen before. It ultimately involves into the very useful Butterfree, but for now, it has a pretty low attack. And it's the rest of the sets, I wouldn't say, are very impressive either. Although it does no string shot, so that does become a bit of an annoyance. And I'm probably gonna leave in a, a bunch of... I think at the beginning of this project, I'm gonna leave in a bunch of the videos, and then, like, I guess if people say so in the comments, like, let me know if you want this or not, like, whether I should leave in the battles or not, because in the last project... And yeah, he's got another cavity. Eh. I'll just tackle myself way through this. But, um... I didn't, uh, how I did it in Pokemon Yellow was that I essentially if Pokemon had uh, someone threw a, a duplicate Pokemon, like something that we've seen before, I would just kind of skip through it. Except for if it was like a gym battle or something like that. Um, let me know if you want me to do that for this project, or if you just want me to uh, keep all the battles in this time. And... I mean, I probably shouldn't be losing to a, a worm. Yeah. Alright, they still level up on this. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to skip the battles or not. I mean, I don't really care either way. Oh look, Foresight, a new move. Probably not going to see any use of that move anytime soon, but alright. Alright, you too strong. Alright, Simpson the mom. Alright. Yeah, Pokeballs while I was catching Pokemon. I should have bought more. Oh, You poor thing. Alright, let's go ahead and get who who's out of the front line. Uh, let's put Spin Rack in front. And give that little guy some attention. <laughs> Alright, and now we step into Route 31. So I, I love how this game kind of tells you exactly where the routes begin and end and stuff like that. Oh, here, here's a guy. And an item, too. <laughs> now that cave over there. I'm not going to be going into it just yet. I'm saving it for a little bit of a certain time period. But anyways, this was a great dark cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. So yeah, that's Star Cave right there. Again, I'm going to be ignoring it for now. You can't really get through it anyways, but I do have a reason to be in there. It's just not the right hour, I suppose. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. See. Anyways, in this tree we get a Bitterberry. Um, yeah, let me try and see if I can find what that does in my player's guide. Try to uh, two-hand this, or one-hand this, rather. And that trainer's gonna stop us. So, let's see. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you! Let's see. Must find Bitterberry. Alright, anyways. Bug Gashin Wade, he has four Pokemon, as opposed to the other two. He starts out with a Caterpie again, so... I'm just gonna kinda go through the motions since it's a level two and look for this... Damn Berry. And, uh, yeah, Poison Sting, String Shot, uh, let's see. Well, I guess I can only attack with this. Now, here's an interesting thing that I kind of wanted to show off, though. In the previous game, Poison type was actually super effective, I believe, against Bug types for some reason. I don't know. And uh, from what I've heard with my friends is that the type advantage and disadvantage between these two types kind of changes over the course of the several generations. But in the second generation, it does normal damage, so... Yeah, it, it's kind of confusing, honestly. Anyways, Buckcatcherway is going to send out another Caterpie, so I'm going to continue looking for that berry. Um, oh, here it is! Okay. Con curious Confusion. Alright, so that's convenient. That's actually pretty good. I mean, that's a, that's a brilliant item to have, to be honest, because... There really isn't a way to, co uh, to cure confused Pokemon in the last game besides using a full heal or something like that. Or just take him out of battle and then put it back in. Oh, look, and I poisoned them too, so you get status afflictions. That's the first one that you get to see in the game. Poison. If anyone needs a refresher, 
takes off a small bit of HP every time the, po the affected Pokémon attacks. Or uses a move, or really anything. And we're about to level up, alright. Uh, now he's gonna send out Weedle. Uh, let's go and switch Pokémon here to Geodude, since I can get a type advantage, sort of. Weedle is another Pokémon that we've seen also, and I believe you can also get them in this route too if you're playing Crystal. Um, one of them is version exclusive in, like in silver and the other is in gold too, but... Yeah, Weedle we've seen it too before, ultimately involves into Beedrill, and it annoyingly knows Poison Sting. And luckily I don't get poisoned on the first damn turn. But watch, I get poisoned this turn. I can almost guarantee it. Yep! <laughs> I, <laughs> I called it, and of course I missed, so... Uh, I just flippin' called it. I mean, this is how my luck is with this game. Honestly, it... it... <sighs> Alright, well, let's just uh, speed up this battle. Let's put... Oh, wow, he grew up pretty fast. Alright, he's gonna send up one last Caterpie, so let's, uh... Let's go back to Spinarak. The Spinarak was doing pretty well, so... I only took him out because, uh, Weedle is bug and poison, so the poison thing wouldn't have done very much. I, I have to wonder why you have to have three level 2 Caterpies in your party, though. It's kind of weird. And this last attack should be able to finish him off. And there we go! Yeah, you level 6, yep. I mean, that wasn't too surprising, I suppose. And we learned Scary Face, another... I think it's another new move. I believe it uh, lowers the speed stat of someone by two stages, so that's... It's a little bit better than String Shot. Let's stop this guy. You can catch Pokemon even have six with you. If you catch one, it'll go to your box automatically. You're awesome, I like you. Aw, thanks. I look for Pokemon here every day. When I'm in the grass, I find all kinds of berries. If you like some, a like, I'd share some. Can I get your number? So yeah, this is the second time in number. Kind of what I was just getting through with Joey. This guy is occasionally going to call us. And he will call us to battle us again. Uh, I believe all trainers that, uh, you know, you can register essentially do that. Uh, let's put Subaki in front since it's the most powerful right now. But, um... Yeah, occasionally Wade will call us and actually offer us a berry if we come back to him. Well, like, he'll, like, call and say, hey, I got a berry, and then it is. Oh, yeah, Geodude's poison, so... Damn it, wild Pokemon. I can't wait till I'm rich, and I can finally get some repels. Alright, Zubat, we're gonna skip you for now, because I already caught you! But of course, it's a pain in the butt to train Zubat right now, because all it knows is leech life. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Vital City's gym. That's actually not too bad of an idea, specifically with one Pokemon that you find in there, but... Anyways, let's see if I can get back to the Pokemon Center before you do faints. Ah. Ah. Still a little bit tired. <laughs> yeah, I've been recording for a bit, I suppose. Although I'm not looking forward to the next part. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to go ahead and go right back out. Although we made it to Violet City, which is this town here in the first gym town. I'm going to go ahead and go right back and go back in front of something in Route 31. And I'm going to see you guys later on here in front of Dark Cave. So, see you in a bit, I guess. Okay, so it is morning, if you can tell. I mean, it is... yeah. But I wanted to show this off. It is currently 5.30 a.m. No, 5.50 a.m. And I'm going to go exploring into the dark cave. Now, as you can tell, it's dark. <laughs> Obviously. You need flash in order to ultimately um, navigate through this place. Not to mention a few other HMs, but... Essentially, there's a Pokemon that appears here during the morning, and only during the morning in Crystal, that I'm going to be trying to get, because it's actually going to be one of my final Pokemon. And this might take a while, so... yeah...
Okay, so knowing my luck, this popped up finally. Teddy Ursa! A very odd Pokemon to find so early in the game, level 2. Hopefully I don't kill it. But yeah, this is what I just spent 12 or 13 minutes in the goddamn morning trying to find. Ugh. At least I wasn't going for the other Pokemon. I mean, that, uh, this had a 5% chance of popping up. The other Pokemon had like 1% chance of popping up, so... Uh, it's just gonna leer us, that's good. Now, what I'm worried about this Pokemon is that it might run. And I'm a little bit hesitant to use Hypnosis, so let's go ahead and throw a Pokemon and see if we can end this now. <sighs> Damn it. Alright, it's just gonna keep leering us, I guess. Uh, let's try another Pokeball. I'm really worried because Teddy Ursa is one of those Pokemon that will actually run from a battle after a while. Like, Pamphy does that <sighs> too. Okay, good, he's not running. Alright. Alright, please... Catch! This is my last Pokeball. If I don't catch this... <laughs> oh, thank god! I was... Honestly, I, sh I trained Poliwag up to level 7 to learn Hypnosis, and I don't even use it. Alright, but let's get his info. It always licks honey. Its palm tastes sweet. Uh, with, uh... Eh. Mm, wake up. Because of all the honey, it has a sword. Alright. There we go. Give a nickname to Teddy Russell? Yes, I will, since it's going to be a final member in our party. And I'm going to appropriately give it the name... Wait for it. Umbra. Kind of because of the moon on its face and because I found it in the damn morning! Yeah, let's go back to Violet. Alright, right before I end this video off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say let's put you out because I don't really need you at this point. And go ahead and withdraw our new party member, Teddy Ursa, aka Umbra. And I just want to show him off, or show her off, I guess, real quick. Alright, but anyways, uh, it's down here. And as you can see, Teddy Ursa, level 2. Um, and the Scratch and Leer, I believe. And, um, it stats are pretty well balanced, although it ultimately does have a bit of a slow speed. Oh well, yeah, this is the guy Krish 9 with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. I'm gonna go ahead and save so I don't screw this up. And I'm going to go back to sleep, but in the next episode, we're going to explore Violet City. So I'll see you then, guys.